Watch this clip. That guy, the psycho, did this. He's a week every week of the month, and every month of the year, he's got us making presents, and I'm happy. Wow, what a big difference. Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Chris Eklar, and today I am reviewing the movie Copycat. Let's get into it. He's a happy elf. I'm the happy elf. I'm the happy elf and I just might stop on by. The movie Copycat came out in 1995 and it stars Sigourney Weaver, Holly Hunter, and Harry Connick Jr. And the guy in the beginning was Harry Connick Jr. I have never heard of this film. Um, a friend told me about it and I was intrigued because it's about serial killers and I do know um, a lot of the actors in here. And if you don't know who Holly Hunter is, well she played Mrs. Incredible in The Incredibles. So when I hear the name Harry Connick Jr. I think of the singer, you know, the guy that uh, guest starred on Will and Grace. Um, you know, that, that, <laughs> that happy friendly guy, you know. Um, he was even in Dolphin Tail, a fucking very, you know, emotional but positive movie, you know, about a dolphin with half a fucking tail, you know, learning how to swim. That's a heartwarming film. And then <laughs> I found out that he plays a killer in this. I was like, I want to see that side of him, you know. And when I watched it, he f he fucking wowed me because I didn't think he would be that that convincing as a killer. So in the beginning, there's a part where Sigourney Weaver's giving this speech about how. All, um, the majority of men are like serial killers, like serial killers lie within the majority of men and how women should be careful and how everyone should be careful because they are everywhere and um, when they all sit back down because she was given a demonstration, when they all sit back down you see Harry Connick Jr. his character sitting in the in the audience and he looks just just look at this clip century invention but we seem to be spawning them in ever greater numbers. The state of Florida spent almost eight million dollars to electrocute Ted. Okay, if someone did that to me while giving a speech, I would be freaked the. F I would be beyond freaked the fuck out. I would. I, I, what would I do? Fucking, I would f probably walk out the auditorium paranoid as shit. And that's what Sigourney Weaver does. And to see this traumatic event happened to her, it is pretty fucked up. After this traumatic event happens in the film, 13 months later, she is like terrified of the outside. She's like Sheila from Shameless, however less hysterical. And um, she's just afraid to step outside and there's a, sh uh, a scene um, in the film where she struggles just to get like a paper or her mail, like just right outside her uh, apartment door. And uh, that's pretty messed up. I like I like that about her character, how they um, added that with a serial killer. Like, yeah, maybe one of these doctors that interviews them. Yeah, what if what if like uh, one of them does come after them? Like, do do they uh, like they some of them do live in fear. They do live in paranoia that these fucking maniacs are coming after them. You know, and I like how they have they show a doctor in that profession paranoid. You know, in a film, I never seen that before in a film. So I like that. I also like how um, we, how the movie uh, showed you the killer's perspective. I liked how um, we saw how the killer thought. We saw what he uh, did and how he picked his victims. That was pretty uh, interesting to see. And the dynamic between uh, the two cops, Holly Hunter and Dermot Mulroney, that dude, the, di the, the diner owner from Shameless. Their, di their uh, relationship in the movie, it was believable. So I admire that, like good acting, good relationship. It was believable. I believe these two have that close friendship that they have in in the film. So it was uh, believable, and I like that. So I recommend the movie Copycat. I give it uh, eight out of ten. I really enjoyed this movie. Would I watch it again? I would watch it. Again. I actually watched this several times, <laughs> um, and I really enjoyed it. To be honest, when I was doing research about this film, I didn't see a lot of reviews on it. 
and which makes me like believe that this is like an underrated film. Like I don't hear a lot of people talk about it, you know. So um, yeah, underrated. Check it out. There is another underrated film I will get into, and the person that did it, you know his name. I'll save that till when I do the when I do the movie review on that. Um, so that is it for today. I would like to thank Manny, my cameraman. Hello <laughs> again. Uh, Manny, I guess you can say you directed these past two movie reviews. <laughs> he is my cameraman. We worked together on several videos. The first, these two videos are the first movie reviews you did. It's kind of, it kind of felt weird, but it was all right. We did pretty good. I will bring him back for more. You will see more Manny. <laughs> Speaking of more Manny, um, the next video on my channel is um, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Um, the new maps came out. Well, not, well, now they're not new, but to me they're still new. Um, the Zombie Chronicle maps has what? All the all the War at War maps fucking remastered. Um, the majority of Black Ops uh, 2, one, two, and, two and, and 1 two. and 2. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited to play Kino. Kino's my favorite map. So uh, that's going to be a video coming soon. And after that is another movie review. Probably. Fuck. I don't know. I have a big selection on what I want to do next. Ooh, Wonder Woman. I haven't done Wonder Woman yet. I still remember that movie. I'll do a movie review on Wonder Woman next. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. And um, see you guys in the next one. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. You were going to do the All review? Right. Yeah, I know I'm gonna do a review. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the movie is.